So what metrics do you measure when it comes to lead generation success? Let's say, for example, you've been working with multiple lead generation companies and you're trying to essentially get to the bottom of which one's performing the best. So obviously, in my opinion, the only metric really you should be looking at is return on investment. Yep. Um, what profit do you make? Mm -hmm. it, sh it should be really as simple as profit and loss that you should be looking at. Um, the amount of people that obsess over cost per lead as opposed to cost on conversion. Yep. And not only cost on conversion, but cost on conversion versus profit you're making. So let's say I have um, a conservatory and I convert that that inquiry that comes in, but it's a small conservatory for £4,000 and I make a £1,000. All right, it's good that it's converted, but if I go and convert another inquiry and it's a £15,000 conservatory and I make £6,000, well, obviously, that lead, that conversion versus what profit I've made is worth a lot more. So it's not just individually what the cost per acquisition is in, in its own, I've converted this one lead at £400. If you only make £400, then you're breaking even. If it's costing £400 and you're making £2,000, then it's, it's good business. Yeah. So the main one is making certain you've got your KPIs in place, make certain you can work back on what kind of conversion rate you're normally working to, which normally is around 10%. From, from lead to conversion is around 10%. So if you know you're making, if you're buying the lead at £50 per lead, and it's at 10%, that's costing you a £500 cost per acquisition. Mm -hmm. As long as you're making more than £500, you might then say that it's worth it. If it's only making six or £700 for the service, you might say it's not. So you've got to have, you've got to know your numbers. And in my opinion, the main number you should be looking at is return on investment. Yeah, it's, um, it, we obviously speak to a lot of business owners and they don't know how vanity metrics works so like they, they might be looking at cost per click or um cost per view and stuff like that and it's like well you could get a million views tomorrow if, if you spend enough money and it might not generate you any yeah. inquiries so definitely i think the the one metric or the the couple of metrics that i would be looking at is roi and cost of acquisition of the actual client is it is it costing you 50 pounds is it costing you 300 pounds is it costing you a thousand pounds um, and then obviously working it back that way, making certain that if, if it's costing you a thousand pounds, okay, that's fine. But are you making profit off that one thousand pounds? Or maybe you're selling conservatories and that conservatory might be a thirteen thousand pound job. So, okay, per perfect. You're making, you, you should be making a lot of profit there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the examples I gave was like a service based where they're making instant money. The only, bit in there that we could throw as being a little bit of a caveat is certain metrics that you should also be looking at is average transactional value yep. and lifetime value, right? Because you mentioned there that not only is it about per lead, right, of what's coming through and the acquisition and obviously the return on investment, if you know your lifetime value, you might be willing to pay X amount, which could be £20 for a Twitter follower or a subscriber on YouTube or for someone to be added to your newsletter because you know, generally speaking, that if someone gets added to your newsletter, generally speaking, your average lifetime value is £200. Yep. So if you're acquiring someone into your newsletter at £20, that might be good business. Now, you're still looking at it from a return on investment standpoint, but at that point, you need to be knowing your long-term lifetime value. So there is different metrics you can look at, like you said, lifetime value, average transactional value, cost per acquisition. If you know all the metrics, you can start looking at cost per lead. And if you do know cost per lead, you can then start looking at cost per click on PPC or impressions. If you start knowing exactly how many impressions turn into how many clicks, how many clicks turn into how many subscribers, how many subscribers turn into paying customers. Yep. But it's just about knowing your metrics. It's a great video to do because... We're talking about numbers and talking about metrics. The amount of business owners we speak to that don't know the numbers and then they're coming to us looking to blindly do lead generation and you're like, you need to know your numbers. It's the most important part of any business. The like, success of anything is know your KPIs and know your numbers. The, um, I, I'll, I'll give, I'll give the, a, a prime example of, of businesses that actually do know their numbers. So there's a lot of mechanics in the UK. 
Um, and in the UK, we've got something called MLT. Now, I don't think that's a thing in America. I, I could be wrong. But to, to legally drive a car, um, you need to get a yearly MLT done. And that typically costs about 30 to 40 pound. Now, the mechanic actually doesn't make that much money on that. It's, they might make 10 pound profit. Um, but they're actually betting on the fact that when you bring your car in, they might, you might need like an oil service or it might need new brakes or it might need new tires. And that's where they make their money. So in some cases, a lot of businesses, they give like a lost leader away, yeah. knowing that their average transactional value or their lifetime value of a client is my, maybe 600 pounds. So if they're giving away 100 pounds, they're like, brilliant that's that's fine because i'm going to make 500 pound profit yeah exactly yeah, yeah so the metrics are very important There's, there is a few different metrics um if you are looking at metrics with regards to lead generation something that i would definitely be doing is that if you are in in the kind of shopping list of going okay i'm looking for the best lead generation companies head on over to fatrank.com fill in the form we do a no win no fee lead generation service if you qualify where you don't pay anything for leads we guarantee you the return on investment. You only pay on converted jobs. So we kind of take all the metrics away from you that, that really you start worrying about like impressions and clicks and cost per lead and cost per acquisition. You don't really need to worry about all that. We need to worry about it ourselves because we know our numbers inside out and we need to be making certain that you're converting the inquiries well enough that you're responding to the leads quick enough, that you've got case studies and testimonials that you're able to make this lead into a conversion that you make profit out of, then we just get paid a commission or a finder's fee on the back of that converted job. So head on over to fatrank.com, fill in the form and see whether you qualify.